My name is LeFrancois. I am an Aver Media partner. I'm a Touch Portal partner. I'm a StreamYard partner. And today, I'm going to show you how to stream to Twitch. We're about a third of the way through 2021 and everyone is starting to make their shift online. Well, that actually started happening last year when COVID hit, everyone lost their jobs, people are staying home and people tried to go from, from their physical lo job location into something more virtual. And that resulted in a huge bump in viewers, not only viewers, but just users and streamers on Twitch. Today, we're going to be talking about how to start streaming in Twitch on Twitch in 2020. We're going to be looking at some of the more finer details of setting up your Twitch account to help you guys separate yourself from the other users, right? There's a lot of things about Twitch, especially in 2021, that make it so much more advanced than it used to be. You can no longer just sign into Twitch, sign into your OBS, and start streaming, playing some video games, hanging out with other gamers. The whole game has completely changed. It is no longer a sit down, stream some video games games hang out with your buddies and make money no in 2021 you have to push the limit when it comes to streaming and provide the utmost amount of entertainment value possible through the amazing amazing tools that are available for free everywhere if you take a look at what the sushi dragon is doing nutty's doing harris heller a lot of these big names within the industry are always pushing forward the envelope i don't even know if that's a saying pushing forward the envelope. Google pushing forward the um, envelope. Oh my God, it's a, it's an actual saying. Approach or extend the limits of what is possible. Pushing forward the envelope. What I'm getting at is streaming in 2021 has become far more advanced than just sitting down, playing some video games and hanging out with your buddies. We have to start thinking about ways to separate yourself in a very creative manner. Not only that, but you have to be creating content outside of Twitch, on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. TikTok right now is a huge one. Everyone's on that platform and it is quite easy to get discovered and liked on that platform. I see a lot of people that are uh, Twitch streamers within my community have more followers than I do subscribers on my YouTube channel and I teach these people how to do what they do every single day the first thing you need to do when setting up your account or starting when you're thinking about streaming to Twitch is you have to decide on the platform that you're actually going to use to stream there's so many different softwares now when it comes to streaming you have the Streamlabs OBS you have the regular base OBS studio you have XSplit you have StreamYard you have all these other companies out there trying to compete in this virtual world world. The application that I suggest and we suggest within our community is OBS Studio. OBS Studio stands for Open Broadcasting Software. It allows you to install plugins. It allows you to stream to Twitch, to YouTube, to Facebook, to wherever and this is the tool that we use if you want to take your stream to the next level there's some more user-friendly applications out there streamlabs obs is essentially obs with a plugin on top of it so streamlabs obs looks a lot more friendly it looks more fancy it's like the iphone of streaming applications where obs studio is the android of streaming applications where android gives you a lot more control a lot more versatility with your options the iphone is a lot more user friendly and it looks nice and pretty. What we're gonna be using in this video is OBS Studio. The first thing you need to do is create an account on Twitch if you wanna start streaming. The first thing you need to do is create an account on Twitch if you want to start streaming. Twitch, pretty basic. Once you create an account, you can view channels and so on and so forth. Not only can you view channels, you can subscribe, you can you can buy bits, you can do all these things, but you can also stream on Twitch the second you make an account on Twitch. Go ahead and make an account on Twitch using uh, whatever email you want, and we will start the process from there. Before we get started on this tutorial, I do want to throw a little ad in here to the newest stream overlay on my website. This Win9X overlay comes with everything you need as a new streamer on Twitch. It's a very unique design. It has a retro flair that you'll never find anywhere else on Twitch. Go check it out using the link in the description below. All right, what we're looking at here is my Twitch channel. What we're gonna do is quickly go through a lot of the settings, how to get started on, uh, on Twitch. In order to start actually streaming to Twitch, you'll need your stream key within one of those software applications. The first thing 
thing we're gonna do is go to our channel and go find that stream key you can access the stream key from your channel dashboard so if you go to your profile icon in the top right click channel dashboard then we're gonna go down to settings and stream and here you will find your stream key what you're going to do is copy this stream key and then we're going to open OBS and put this in the OBS settings now we're back on OBS your OBS is not gonna look as full as mine I've got a whole bunch of dock windows and stuff like that but what you're gonna do is go over to your settings go to stream and then you're going to paste your stream key in here the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure the service is set to twitch you can either connect your account by logging in through Stu uh, obs studio or you can use your stream key is the method that we just did and then paste your stream key there after you've done that you can simply hit apply we're going to take a quick look at our creator dashboard the first thing we're going to look at is our settings and we're going to go to the stream tab on the stream tab we want to make sure we're storing our past broadcast this allows viewers that come to your channel or stop by your channel to view your past podcasts to see if they would like the content that you create you also want to make sure you enable clips this allows viewers in your stream to create clips and share them with their friends their family that sort of stuff this will help grow your channel and your brand after you toggle on the past broadcast and the clips we're gonna go over to the channel section in the channel section you have your display name your bio and most importantly your social links you want to make sure you have all your social links within this section here this will redistribute your viewers to all the social networks on all the platforms that you create content it's very important for growing your brand so make sure you go through and add all the links on all the platforms that you create content the next thing we're going to look at is the brand section up here this is where you can upload your profile picture you want to make sure you have a nice unique profile picture of your face you don't want to have a logo as your profile picture you want to make sure it's something a little bit more personal that's just a little tip that i have for providing some personality to your stream there's logos all over twitch that are just all the same they look the same so make sure you personalize your profile picture it will separate you from the crowd don't do the whole logo gaming logo thing just don't do it trust me stick with a nice beautiful profile picture of your face that's unique and different if you look at my profile picture there's nothing like it on twitch it's my face it has a rainbow effect it's got nerd on the glasses i mean it's freaking cool it's different next thing you want to take a look at is the profile accent color this will allow you to to create the color that pops up for when people subscribe to your channel this is the color that will be used in the chat window but not only that when they're browsing channels on twitch this is the color that pops up when they hover over your channel the next thing you want to do is make sure you have a custom profile banner the custom profile banner will again be another element that separates you from other channels on twitch this is a great opportunity to put in some creativity, some uniqueness of the things that you like and enjoy related to gaming, streaming, creation, whatever it is, whatever you are, whatever your brand is, make something cool, unique, and different. The last thing we wanna take a look at is the video player banner. The video player banner is the offline image. So when you're not streaming, it's the image that displays on your channel when you're not live. The next thing you wanna do is add a stream schedule. If you are a streamer and you have a stream schedule, you are a step ahead of all your competition. So make sure you include the stream schedule schedule in your schedule tab and then last but not least feature content you can create a channel trailer for your channel so if you want to compile a highlight video if you want to compile uh just a sit down video where you're just talking about your channel the things you want to do the things that you like whatever it is make it something engaging make it something fun unique to you creative and this will really pull in your community and make something uh you can make something really great out of this so make sure you add in a channel trailer those are going to be all the twitch settings that i want to talk about regarding your twitch profile now we want to go over to obs and do some of the finer detail work when it comes to outputting your stream so making sure you have the highest quality stream but not only that just showing you how to create a capture source for your game and for your webcam so let's head over to obs and do that real quick and get some high fives for being awesome you're you're awesome that's what i'm trying to say high five I don't want to confuse you guys. I have a ton of stuff on my OBS window. Uh, I do this somewhat professionally, so I've got a lot of stuff going on. The two things you need to focus on is the sources window and the scenes window. 
So what you're gonna do is create a scene for every scene that you have on your stream. As you can see, I have a live scene, I have an intermission scene, and I have a full screen scene. In each one of those scenes, you have different sources. So you have your overlays, you have your sound effects, that sort of stuff that you wanna incorporate into your stream. I'm gonna show you how to set up a game capture and display capture, but not also, not only that, a webcam capture so you can capture your video camera and have that output to Twitch. So in the sources window, all you need to do is hit the plus button. There you will see a display capture and game capture option. The game capture will capture game specific windows. You'll sometimes run into the issue where a game won't pop up in the game capture and you'll need to use a display capture as a result. It's nice to have both of those capture sources available on the live scene that you're going to use. In order to capture a webcam source, you'll need to simply just capture a video capture device in here is where you will select a webcam or the source for your video. Mine's going to be a capture card. It will be slightly confusing for you. But if you're not using a capture card, you have a webcam, it will most likely pop up as like a Logitech C920 or an Avermedia 3i3, whatever, whatever webcam that you're using for your stream. It's important what you have layered here. So this group here is my webcam source, the source that you're seeing in front of you. And below that is our display capture and game capture sources. So on top of the display capture is the webcam source. So you're able to see me above that, that source if i were to drop this below the display capture you will notice that i disappear so you want to make sure that you have your sources layered the way you want them layered um, with all the widgets and all the alerts and all the systems that you have going on for that as well so the next thing we're going to take a look at is the settings in the settings we want to make sure we have our output for the streaming optimized you're going to have a, a lot of different options here some important ones that we want to look at is our encoding options you want to make sure you're using your NVENC encoder if you have an NVIDIA capture card whatever your capture card is make sure you're using the capture card encoder in NVIDIA's case it's the NVIDIA NVENC H.264 you're going to want to make sure you're capturing in the the scale of your monitor so if you have a 720p monitor make sure you're capturing in 720p if you have a 1080p monitor make sure you're capturing in 1080p you want to make sure your rate control is actually CBR and the way you do this is by switching your output mode from simple over to advanced bit rate wise if you're streaming at 720p or you're streaming at 1080p um, it's important that you have a high enough bit rate to match what quality you want on Twitch. In order to get true 720p on Twitch, you want to make sure you're streaming at least 4,500 bit rate or above. Oh, but friends, well, they say you can't do more than blah, blah, blah. Trust me, guys, Twitch will accept up to 8,000 kilobytes per second. So if you want to stream at 720p, I suggest an upload of at least 4,500 kilobytes per second. This will get you a nice clean quality without spots and black spots and you know pixelation and that sort of thing so make sure you have a high enough bitrate i stream at 1080p when i do that i will crank that bitrate to 8000 i keep it at 7500 uh depending on what i'm doing this is for youtube streaming i have a streaming pc so the settings are kind of kind of a little bit different over there your keyframe interval you want to set that bad boy to zero you want to put your preset at quality with your profile set to high you want to make sure look ahead and psycho visual tuning are both off you set your gpu to zero and your max b frames to two that is going to optimize the overall quality for your stream trust me stick to those settings. You wanna make sure your color format is set to RGB, your color space is at 709, and set your color range to partial. OBS actually only captures in partial color mode, so you wanna make sure your color range is partial, not full. Uh, if, you have, if you have any questions regarding OBS settings, that sort of stuff, there's a great channel out there called Apis Fox. He's a great guy. He does great content on OBS. So if you're interested in in detail content on OBS, I suggest Apis Fox. The last thing we want to do is go back to the output tab, go over to audio. You can set the audio bit rate for every single one of your tracks to 320. This will just up the overall audio quality of your stream. This is a very important step. And last but not least, you'll want to make sure you have your microphone selected within the OBS, uh, the OBS application. You can do that from the audio tab on OBS, or you can do what I've done here, which is disable all of the sources. And then I create an audio capture 
capture source in the sources down here and I create a capture for each one of those sources. That's a bit more advanced for basic users. You can check out my tutorials on voice meter. You can check out my tutorials on setting up audio for your stream. That's going to complete my guide to streaming in 2021 guys. If you want to check out some of the more advanced stuff, go ahead and browse the content on my channel. I suggest checking out ways to incorporate plugins with OBS. So things like the move transition plugin, the, the stream FX plugin, things like that can add cool effects to your stream and take you to the next level. Some channels that I suggest are Nutty, Harris Heller, Gale Level. Those guys do a lot of good content for streaming, a lot of creative content for streaming definitely go check them out last but not least head over to my website get yourself some free overlays some free webcam frames some free stuff to use for your stream link for that is in the description below if you guys like this video make sure you like this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this my name is Francois. i like you and i don't know how to do this outro so we're gonna just be like yo yo what's up i'm out of here peace